Hi, I'm Pastor Mark of Overbrook Presbyterian Church. Hudson and I would like to invite you to spend the next few minutes with us reflecting on God's Word. Please excuse Hudson. He had to go take a nap. Well, we're going to continue today to look at the 23rd Psalm. Today we're going to focus on the second verse. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. Typically when we hear these verses, I think we immediately think of food, the abundance of food, green pasture for a sheep and still waters means plenty of grass to eat, plenty of water to drink. And that's certainly true. It's certainly alluding to the abundance and the goodness of God's provision. But I also think about the idea of lying down in a pasture. As I mentioned yesterday, sheep really have no natural uh, effective defense mechanism. They're very vulnerable animals. One of the last things a sheep would naturally do is lay down in an open green pasture because even though there's plenty to eat, they're so vulnerable in an open field, an open pasture. There are no trees or bushes to camouflage their appearance. They're just out in the open. They're very visible to predators. And so the mere fact that they would lay down in a green pasture is just so telling of the level of comfort that a sheep would have with the protection of the shepherd. And so David is saying that Yes, God provides an abundance, but beyond that, God provides the protection for me so that I can totally relax and enjoy what he has provided. Because even though I'm vulnerable, even though I'm open from attack from all sides, I don't have to worry because God, the good shepherd, is with me and protects me. I pray that in these days of facing what appears to be the unknown, that we can truly look around us and take in the abundance that God has provided for us. And to also realize that he not only has provided that abundance, but that he protects us and enables us to truly relax and enjoy the fullness and the richness of all that he has provided under the wings of his protection. When I think about that, I must say it brings me great joy. Thank you for joining me and Hudson and Charlotte today as we've taken this time to be together reflecting on God's Word for God's people.